Oh, welcome back and today we're going to try and show you how to make your own felt shingles for your roof uh, on a budget so we've been busy revamping the uh, roofs he's very happy in there and uh, we've done our own shingles for the new shed to hold all the cushions and I uh, must say these tools that uh, our chica sent me to review have been very useful and they're going really well so at the moment uh, I'm very happy with uh, with them and uh, they're good prices as well the links are below uh, we've replaced the wood plyboard on the gate and the old one had started going rotten so we cut all the good stuff out and we managed on the end of this roof because that had gone rotten as well so we bought two sheets of ply one for the gate one for the new shack to hold the cushions and the uh, lounges. All the offcuts are in there to store away in the dry to be used at uh, a later date for the next project. So we've reused what we can. So let's get started. The roof that we're doing is 10 foot long, so I'm gonna cut the felt at 12 foot. That's very important. So using something that I know is square, so we don't get no waste. And we cut it to uh, the length, and uh, I'll just show you the mistakes we made so that you don't. So, uh, it's all about this distance, the distance there, distance here being the same distance there, but if you search the internet there are diagrams and the smaller or the bigger that you want, but uh, this worked out well for us on that shed I showed you earlier, whether it works out on this one or not, but I'm not going to change it. But we made a mistake of cutting it out like that and then realizing if we do it like that and then flip it over getting those grooves back into those grooves we could get four out of that instead of three leaving the last bit i can't see the screen guys sorry leaving the uh, last bit for the first row like this so the first first row is just a flat piece nothing cut into it and there's the first lot of tiles and then you just move it over one to, to create the shape you fit it how you want we decided to fit it with uh, nails didn't want to we're trying to do it on a budget trying to save money one little mistake there that Mrs K spotted and she hasn't let me forget about it but there's the uh, first layer of uh, felt then this is the the second so that should seal it up for many years to come and we've gone for the most expensive so the roofs cost us 42 pounds for one full roll of the green mineral so that's the base layer we'll still have another hope for the off cut will go along the front and I don't think four tiles will uh, cover that distance. But if I have to do another roll, I have to do another roll. No waste because we'll be doing the uh, summer house. It's due for another lot of felt. So why not make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye? Well, mainly from outside the bedroom window. Can't really see it from uh, uh, on, the, on the floor.
Why buy something that's going to last five years when you can buy something that lasts for 15? You're quiet again. Try and line it up with ones that you've already done. To say this isn't perfect, but it is awesome. Well that's uh, a full one metre wide, we've got four out of it and I was trying to think how I actually got a strip but because we'd made the mistake on the first one we only got three out of it, that's why we had a wider strip. Now this last strip on the right is a lot wider than the rest, always save that for the, the top of uh, the shed so it goes over the top uh, and if you have to cut any more cut them like that and uh, any leftovers can be uh, used uh, elsewhere And like I said, if you've got the money to use the uh, glue, because the ready-made ones come with a, a glued, tarred background, so you peel the tape off. And uh, if you do make any mistakes, you're better off making sure these are overlapping there. It does look uh, more pleasing uh, to the eye. And uh, I'm going to get these put on the roof now, but I hope you found that uh, really interesting. And if you don't cut them long enough, it'll end up looking like this. You cut them long enough and then they overlap and it gives you uh, something a little bit more pleasing to the eye, but didn't want to waste it. Skylar's chilling outside while we have the uh, kitchen ceiling re-plastered and re-boarded. So again, uh, another thank you to uh, RG Tools, uh, excellent, really helped me, especially the uh, battery powered circular saw, no accidents with a cord, etc. And uh, I'm going to take a chill now because it's quite a warm weekday, more June weather. A seasonal weather not too hot but I do prefer it cloudy I don't like the sunshine but Mrs K's got the whip out so I must do as I'm told take care my friends till next time try for now